Alright, so guys, I've officially seen Thor Love and Thunder last night, and boy, I don't get what's what what's the problem with the movie. Like, it's like a really good film, honestly. It's not better than Ragnarok, but it really is my second favorite Thor movie. I mean, I enjoyed the film a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot. Now, I guess the people, the problem people have with this film is the jokes. I never really... Maybe it's just because I don't let jokes ruin a movie for me and I don't really care. Like, I don't know. Like, it could be a good joke in Marvel and I just don't laugh. So, maybe I'm just so used to, like, bad jokes or just not laughing at jokes to where jokes are, like, I don't really care. Like, it doesn't ruin the movie for me. Like, for me, I don't get how some people, like, it kind of makes people mad when they hear a bad joke in Marvel. But I get the part where people says it kind of takes the serious out of it, but this was pretty serious enough, like, it was as serious as Ragnar, or not as serious, like, at least very close to being as serious as Ragnar. Uh, it's definitely not up there as being serious with Thor, or Thor the Dark World, but Thor, Love and Thunder was really good. Uh, I really like, like, what they did, and I actually enjoyed Gore. I wish they didn't really kill him off. I wish we could have seen him continued in his life. Like, and we can see him again in the future. But realistically, maybe they just never had any plans. And I even saw, and I'm fully convinced, Noah at least once existed in the MCU. He's either dead or just out out there somewhere. Because, boy, that Necro Sword, I love the Necro Sword. It's not, it's not as good as the comics, though. But it's still, like, it still is really, really good to see the Necro Sword in the MCU. And to see, like, it, it's like seeing the very first symbiote that was created by Noel in the MCU. And technically speaking, it's the very first symbiote we've seen kind of have, like, some sort of symbiotic relationship. Except for it's more parasitic. Because, like, the way, the, how the Necrosword works, it works a lot like the Clintar race from the Venom movies, even. And... That's really exciting for me. That's why Venom's kind of considered a loser because he wants a symbiotic relationship instead of a parasitic relationship. And the Necrosword is what you call a parasitic relationship. So, I mean, this is actually really, really good. I really enjoyed the film. It had its really good details. Truly magnificent. I would give it a 9 out of 10 just because there's a few scenes in there that I'm like, eh, and like, you know... So yeah, there is a bit, so yeah. And then Thor, kind of raising a child, this is Gorge Child, by the way. Um, it's kind of a bit, eh, but either way, I can't wait for the next Thor film. I think they are doing a Thor 5. I hope Beta Ray Bill is the main villain, or at least some sort of Captain America Civil War thing going on, or something like that. Like, come on guys, we gotta see Beta Ray Bill eventually. Like, we've, I've seen the Easter Egg and Ragnarok. We gotta see Beta Ray Bill. We got Stormbreaker. Come on, Beta Ray Bill. Alright. Either way, I'm very excited for Thor 5. And, yeah, I'm also excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I wish we would. We wish, I wish the Guardians of the Galaxy had a better, like a more prominent role in this. I wish they were in the movie throughout. Heck, I wish Thor never left Guardians of the Galaxy. Because I was kind of hoping he was going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But, unfortunately, that's just not the case. But, you know... Whatever, um, like, whatever, like, threat the Guardians of the Galaxy faced, it's very likely Thor could actually cause them to defeat the High Evolutionary. But at the same time, High Evolutionary is very powerful, so, you know, but either way, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is all, that's all I have to say. It was really an enjoyable film. It was really good. So once again, 9 out of 10. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.